Memorial Day is often considered the unofficial start of summer, but here in Texas, you need to be careful about summer heat a lot earlier. As the temperatures rise, so does the danger, especially inside hot cars. An Austin man has an interesting solution that could cool down cars when they're turned off. KXAN's Natalie Stoll explains how the idea could save lives. Texas heat is brutal, and inside a car, the temperature climbs even higher, making it a dangerous place for a child or pet left behind. 38 deaths uh, per year happen uh, because of vehicular heat stroke. So Rodney Trailer came up with an idea to help. They have a lot of reminders out there, you know, leave your purse or your cell phone on the back seat. And to make sure you, you know, get your kid. And we figured that, you know, what if those reminders don't work? You actually need a product that will actually save the child. That product is called a solar cooling system, and it works like this. When the car is off, a sensor in the seat turns on the solar-powered AC unit. Then a text message goes to the owner saying something or someone was left behind. While well, safety is the main focus, imagine cooling for comfort, too. A click on an app would cool your car before you even open the door. That's the idea of this, is to, to make in the vehicles more enjoyable for everyone in the summertime instead of opening the car and having that heat wave just hit you. With the patent process underway, finding a manufacturer comes next. Rodney's goal, making this a standard safety feature. In North Austin, Natalie Stoll, KXAN News. Remember, if you ever see a child alone in a car, act immediately. Sometimes it is a case where a parent forgot the child, but nearly a third of cases come after a child climbed into an unlocked vehicle. The temperatures inside the car can increase by more than 40 degrees in less than an hour. And please don't forget about your four-legged friends, too. Our mascot, Caxon, helped us write a blog post about keeping your pets safe in summer heat, and you can read that on the weather blog right now.